no so uh, do you speak malayalam mm, no i don't speak it very well unfortunately but i understand it very well so because yeah. now with this new age malayalam cinema yeah and you curious to go check it out because we i guess feel I'm not, proud like one uh, of us yeah, is yeah yeah but i i i, I yeah i've been mean, i i've had an opportunity to act in a couple of malayalam films but i unfortunately i don't speak it that well okay you know my mm-hmm. telugu is better that than is. malayalam so mm mm-hmm. Uh, but i can uh, totally understand it you know mm-hmm. because uh, i mean that's a whole other trip really i mean the uh, discovering kerala f- was always from a hyderabad perspective of you know going to see my grandmother uh, in a, a little town and uh, just the the smell of the backyard the insects the poultry the cows mm-hmm. and just like fresh farm eggs coming to your table i mean it's mm-hmm. a whole discovery really of my own sort of malu ness mm-hmm. kind of thing so over several summer trips and stuff like that so yeah it's a whole yeah i'm excited about i'm excited about linguistic possibilities also like how we consume our films right now mm-hmm. you're watching a spanish show but you're reading the titles yeah. in english you're watching like if you've seen uh, the killer soup it's practically in tamil Yeah, 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 correct, correct, correct. It's practically in the film, uh-huh. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's great that you can make these kind of shows, and uh-huh. you yeah. know, you have an audience for it. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And, what, and language is act, not an issue yeah. anymore. What a fun show! I had a lot of fun. Killer Soup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were watching it. Yeah, we. Yeah. You, you watched watch the whole thing? No, no we no. were in fifth, uh, fourth, or fourth or fifth. Third. Okay, it gets. But crazy. I finished it. Yeah. 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 Nasser sir in the role of a lifetime, I think. Oh yeah. My God, he just. Yeah, he's like he's the drinking cop. It's just amazing. Cop, huh? Oh, he's just not just a drinking cop. He brings so much eccentricity and like you really care for his character. His performance is just, I mean, it's phenomenal, yeah. sir. You're amazing. <laughs> Even that uh, first guy, that uh, police officer, like sir, uh, he he reports and he investigates. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the young guy was, who he dies. Was, he was great. Mm-hmm. After which again, Nazar like starts to drink yeah. or like yeah. feel bad for that guy. That guy yeah. also did a very good yeah. job. the i mean uh, coming back to malayalam in mind why yeah. i like it is that when you just at least when i close my eyes and think of malayalam cinema beyond the stories and the screenplays and all of that and mm. the acting there are these small small details that come in yeah like like how they eat at weddings yeah or like the moss on old walls yeah. mm-hmm. or like house gardens yeah. you know these are the stray dogs yeah, uh-huh. yeah. they are yeah. always there so you yeah. feel like you are in kerala yeah. in a strange way right, right? Yeah, yeah. like the last 3 4 years we have just actually him more than me i think the lockdown brought malayalam yeah, cinema malayalam closer yeah, than yeah. ever yeah yeah totally, to audiences totally. yeah. all over india which is yeah. a wonderful thing and all stories happen in kerala yeah. only like yeah. rarely they go to bangalore or koncham yeah goa sometimes but, uh, yeah, yeah. but not everything is like inside the true, state true 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 and so if you can like tell a story so nicely and for us as outsiders right because we don't know many of the actors it is again like yeah. like a vhs thing right yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't know what you're in for mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because sometimes i'll see a movie i'll see the cast i'm like oh he was in a comedy so it'll uh-huh, be a comedy uh-huh. but you find out it's some weirdly dark yeah, yeah, yeah. story uh-huh. Uh-huh. and sometimes you think it's a dark story but there yeah, is humor ha yeah. uh-huh. ha It is just uh, like Kumbalangi Nights. I don't know, man. Is it a comedy? Is it drama? Is it mm. maybe drama? I guess. Yeah. But mm. there is so many like moments where you laugh out, where I laughed yeah. out. Mm. I don't know. It's no, just, one, it's one just poetry. I think it's just yeah. They are in a great is. space now, yeah. man. It's just beautiful. Exciting. Exciting. Is there any like uh, industry that you would want to work in that you feel like like industry? across the world? Like, like a film industry, sorry. Oh, film industry. Mm. No, I think I'm already in a in like one of the. I mean, the Indian film industry is I just such a thriving kind of a place right now. I mean, for me at least, this is an exciting time for filmmakers here. Our films are reaching across shows, across boundaries. I want to try and make those kind of movies here. So it's like, but like any director who doesn't fancy making a Hollywood film one day or a, you know, but it is. Um, because i grew up on a lot of american cinema on again discovered on vhs mm-hmm. you know so this 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 uh, who would you cast if you are making all oh if i was making a it all depend on the story i guess <laughs> but, uh, mm, I, you know i'd love to work with de niro de niro you know one of the films i keep coming back to is uh, de niro and pacino in heat heat Great movie. Oh, the acoustics, the sound in that film, man. 
Have you ever heard bullets coming out of a gun accurately the acoustics in what would be an empty they emptied out that sidewalk they emptied out those roads and they filled those original guns with fake bullets mm-hmm. but with enough volume so that it would seem like an authentic machine gun shootout mm-hmm. those bullets feel really real and that's michael mann man he's doing some magic with the sound oh, i was talking about dinero i went off to sound but yes working with mr dinero will be a something to what about tom hanks how do you feel about oh yeah he's great he's been so influential in my life man yeah? big big oh. was his movie big uh, was a, it's just about i mean i can spoil it it's part of pop culture right now it's yeah. about a little kid who magically grows up to be yeah. a young man like nani hmm Yeah like like nani. the movie nani yeah, my like movie nani. kind of yeah 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 but this came out in 88 yeah yeah no this is a rip off of that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just the, that boy adventure you know mm. of what it mean meant to be an adult and i kind of saw it at that kind of a time mm. you know so what about like the back to the future movies was oh that oh my god yeah how much i love uh, because we Robert watched them Zemeckis. during the pandemic mm-hmm. and i was like what an amazing movie i so i literally watched because all the hollywood releases wouldn't come at the same time right you'd have to wait for a whole year so i saw part 1 and the yearning for part 2 mm-hmm. because it's the end of the film says to be continued okay in those flaming inferno those hot wheels ka jo the fire that comes on the the tarmac whenever the car goes mm-hmm. in that kind of animation it says to be continued so you know that back to the future part 2 is going to come mm-hmm. had to wait a whole year for that tape to come yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched two actually. It's actually uh-huh. nice. The sequel is decent. I haven't watched yeah. three though, but yeah. I realized like how many time travel tropes come from that movie. Yeah. The mad scientist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He kind of, that was the kind of starting yeah, point. Yeah, like almost. the defining uh, time travel movie. True, true, true. Which which year was this? I this know, would 80s? be eighty six, sir. Eighty seven maybe. Oh. Yeah, late eighty. Robert 80s. Zemeckis. Zemeckis, oh. yeah. yeah. Forrest Gump. He directed. Oh. Back yeah, yeah. Oh. Steven Spielberg produced it. Then after that, Forrest Gump came. I think he made some more. Forrest movies. Gump was much later, so he made those three Back to the Future films, and after that, he's always been a very pioneering filmmaker. He's one of the yeah. first people to use VFX and all. Yeah, no? VFX at a very high level. Yeah. With he made that uh, where Bugs Bunny is a Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, also yeah. his. And which was mix of like live action and animation. Animation. Oh, of yeah, that yeah. time, like 2D animation. Oh. Yeah, I think was it all the DC? I mean, uh, Disney characters was it like it had Daffy Duck and. Yeah, that was revolutionary, dude. Because you never had, like, you'd never see an animated uh, mm. character interact with a live character. That was mm. yeah. next level <laughs> filmmaking, no? Yeah. Mm. And I think he does that. Then he goes to Forrest Gump, which yeah. also has a lot of VFX uh-huh. because they show Forrest with uh, those presidents mm. and mm-hmm. all of that. Oh yeah, that was also next level pioneering because he's shaking hands with JFK. Kennedy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, like, how did he do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, even in in front of White House, he he goes through the speech. the president speech he goes yeah, to the yeah, bond yeah. so that also and then he sits uh, he teaches uh, who is that legendary singer he teaches that dance move to uh, who is that the manly voice singer elvis presley he teaches the <laughs> yeah. move to elvis presley yeah did you watch lal singh chadda i Indian? did i did and it did i you know i mean i i must say that i haven't seen the film at a stretch i've caught bits yeah. and portions Bitches. of it and uh, see pop culture was i mean sorry forest gump was reflecting some defining cultural movements in american history mm. you know the whole woodstock and post vietnam yeah sort of an era so if lal singh chadda was to be made in hindi it should perhaps have reflected that even even more i haven't seen the entire film yeah, always, yeah. but i'm thinking so but they played it little safe okay mm-hmm. you know like yeah. some parts were mentioned but you can see obviously it's a more turbulent time right. Mm-hmm. Right. but you know it's a strange experience because i watched it twice i first watched it in the theater okay and i didn't appreciate the whole like okay you know uh-huh. i don't want to be offensive but whatever mm. like his interpretation of mm. somebody with learning disabilities sure but then when oh. once he ages and he's got the beard mm. just something changes and by the end i was like quite moved by oh, the movie really? yeah oh, okay. because like you know my favorite scenes in forest gump are when uh, tom hanks the sees the sun yeah 
and he's he asked like is he is also he? smart mm. basically he's asking yes yes yes, yes yeah. that amir khan kills in lal singh oh, chadda really kills kills i'm telling you oh, and really? i was till then disconnected because i couldn't take the big guys and i thought that was a little